Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome to another coding video. And in this video, I thought I'll share my experiences with the NEM platform and how we can start building decentralized applications with NEM. And they have a bit of a special approach to the whole, uh, to the whole decentralized thing because they don't run normal smart contracts. The NEM platform runs what many people call off-chain smart contracts. Which really doesn't make sense because smart contracts can't really be off-chain, right? They need to be on a blockchain. What NEM instead does is they have their own blockchain and then you can interact with the blockchain through their API. So they provide an API where you can interact with their blockchain, where you can uh, publish transactions, where you can retrieve information from. But all the other logic is done centralized. I mean, you're responsible for all the other logic running on your server. So that means, of course, we get way better performance because now all the nodes in this network don't have to execute all of our logic. Instead, the blockchain only handles the critical part of storing information. And you can store quite a lot of different information on this blockchain. You can store both, uh, of course, normal transactions of the NEM coin called XEM, I believe. And um, then you can also create uh, what's called smart assets, which you can see here. And it's almost like a token, right? Uh, you can create it in their wallet. It's called the Mosaic. And you can configure that however you want. And then you can, uh, can trade that on the blockchain. You can uh, create applications that use your, uh, your Mosaic and so on. So in this video, I thought I would show you how to, how to get started and some simple, uh, some simple use cases of the API. So you need to go to the nem.io website and download uh, their nano wallet, which is actually a pretty good wallet. Uh, click on get started. And let's see here. You uh, scroll down to download and install the NEM wallet. You hit download. And once you're here, you want to get the desktop client, the NEM nano wallet for whatever platform you have. You'll uh, download that and install that. And when that's done, uh, you can move forward and install the SDK because I've already installed the Nano Wallet. So you can pause the video and install that and then uh, resume it from there. Because next we're going to need the, uh, an SDK for interacting with this API. And my favorite is this Quantum Mechanics NEM SDK. I'll link it in the description if you want to check it out. I think it's the best one uh, as of making this video. And you can get it uh, with the Node Package Manager, NPM. So you need to have Node.js installed because we're going to uh, use Node to run our JavaScript. So you can get that Node.js.org if you don't have it. Just download that because you'll need it. And once, sorry. Mm -mm -mm. once your uh, wallet is downloaded, it will uh, look like this. You'll be able to log in or sign up. I've already have an account, so I'm going to log in, but you will need to sign up. It's very simple. Uh, just choose this uh, simple wallet and continue follow the steps. It's very easy. I'm going to log in. I have a couple of wallets here. Uh, and here you can see your transactions here. And you see that I already have some funds and you would need to get those from a faucet because this is, uh, you would want to create it on the test net. I should say that when you create your account, you want to create it on the test net. And when you have done that, you will need to get you some funds and you can do that through a faucet, which I'll link in the description. Let's see if I can find it here. Okay. So I found the faucet that I used. I've linked that in the description. It is in Japanese, but you can translate it very easy with Google translate here. Um, but it's very easy. You just need to uh, click. I'm not a robot, fill in uh, your address there and hit request. And then you'll get some, uh, testnet coins to your wallet and you can find your address up here click on account you have your address here you can hit copy bam your address is copied then you'll paste that in there let's see there we go hit request and you, maybe you heard the noise here. I had a little bing in my wallet. And that means that I have a new transaction. 
unconfirmed transaction coming here 109 coins and that will be confirmed in just a little while but we can continue while that is getting confirmed and open up the terminal because we will need to install this SDK and we can do this by typing npm install uh, well first of all we can create a folder let's create a folder here uh, called uh, first name project um, oh I would have one of those make your uh, first project like so we're going to there and here we can go ahead and type npm init first of all so we get our uh, json file oh there the transaction is confirmed in the background then we will uh, you just hit enter through all of these questions then you type npm install uh, nem sdk when that's done we can go ahead and open up this folder in an editor i use atom and we'll uh, let's see let's create a new file oh and save as and we will go back to our first project folder we'll save it as main.js there we go and in order to get started we need to um, import our sdk here to our project we need to include that and we do that by typing let nam be equal to require nam.sdk.default. You should be familiar with this if you've used the uh, node package manager before. This is how we include the node packages that we've installed. Uh, require is the function. And in order to connect to the network, we need to define an endpoint. And that is basically how we connect to a node in the testnet network. And this is done via the SDK. So we uh, name it endpoint. Let endpoint be equal to name.model.objects.create. And in here, we specify the type because we can create many different objects. You'll see that later on. Uh, endpoint. Oh, sorry, endpoint. Uh, and this takes two arguments. First of all, it takes the uh, address of the testnet so nem.model.nodes.default testnet because this is already defined in the sdk and then we have nem.model.nodes.default port like so that will uh, define our endpoint where we'll connect to the network and then we'll use this in order to make a request to the testnet blockchain so we'll do nem.com.requests dot chain dot height this will get us the uh, current chain height and we'll pass it along to our endpoint meaning that where we will connect and then this returns a promise so we'll use then and then have our function in here with the result and if it doesn't uh, let's see uh, we have another function here if we get an error function error we'll start off here <clears throat> we'll just console log uh, the result like so, and in here we'll console log the error, like so. This is a very basic uh, first NEM project. <clears throat> we can, uh, this will just log out the height of the chain. We'll save that and go back to our terminal and we'll use node in order to execute this, node main.js. And we can see the uh, height. We can also uh, check, for example, information about the last block. Uh, I believe that is just like that last block and the same thing then we would get the block here we'll print out the block here we'll try that there we go we can see we have a timestamp we have a signature we have the previous block hash uh, we have the type the transactions this is apparently empty we have the version the signer and the height which we got up here in the next video, I will show you how you can send funds, meaning how you can send a transaction through the API and also how we can uh, send our own tokens, how we can create our mosaics, as they call, uh, which would uh, be very similar to a token and how we can send that also. Um, so this was a very short video just to get you up and running with them. 
I like it very much as a platform uh, and I would suggest that you uh, study it and you study the SDK if you're interested uh, in here. I'll link that in the description. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button. If you like this type of content, if you want to see more about NEM, please subscribe to the channel and hit that little bell button. And also leave a comment if you have any comments or future suggestions for videos. I always appreciate your comments and I try to answer every one of you. Uh, once again, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.